Hi there. Here's my solution to question 6.87. So we are looking at a table with counts in it in thousands degrees earned in the United States doing, during the 0506 academic year. They are classified by the degree level, bachelor's, master's, professional, doctorate, and then the gender of the degree recipient, female and male. So if you choose a degree recipient, recipient at random, what's the probability that the person you chose is a woman? Well, very good. We need to look then at the female total that is now, although this is in thousands, this is really 1,119,000. I'm not going to describe it in terms of thousands anymore. I'm just going to describe it in terms of the counts you see in the table. So that probability in part A, we have a total of 1,119 compared to the table total of 1,944. That's it. Part B, what is the conditional probability that you choose a woman given that the person chosen received a professional degree? So look at this really carefully. The condition is a professional degree. So I'll write it this way, prof degree. So the probability that I'm interested in, though, is the probability of a woman, given that the degree was a professional degree to start with. So I'm only going to look at the professional degree column. In the professional degree column, if I cover up everything else, there were 39 women out of a total of 83. 39 out of 83. So something to think about when you have a condition and you're looking at a table, you are going to specifically look at a row or a column in that table. You're isolating yourself to a particular location in the table. So lastly, part C, are the events choose a woman and choose a professional degree recipient independent? Well, up here in part A, what we found was the probability of choosing a woman. So let's round that. So we'll write that as a decimal. It's easier to compare that way. So as a decimal, that looks like it's about 0.576. And here as a decimal, the 39 out of the 83. So that's 0 0.470. So are these independent and how do I know? So the answer is no, these are not independent. And the reason that I know these two probabilities, if this, if uh, selecting a woman and having a professional degree, if those were independent of one another, these two probabilities would match. It shouldn't matter whether I'm isolating myself to simply professional degrees. The likelihood of having randomly chosen a woman here should be exactly the same, and it is not. In fact, the condition of having looked at only professional degrees actually decreases the probability of selecting a woman by about 10%. So the simplest way to put this is no, because the probability of a woman is not the same as the probability of selecting a woman under the condition that we are looking at a professional degree. So those two would have to be the same. This one is 0.576 and this one is 0.470.